Hello and welcome to our virtual rhinoplasty meetings. My name is Dr. Cameron McIntosh and I'm the president of SORSA or the Society of Rhinoplasty Surgeons of South Africa. So during the coronavirus lockdown period, we decided to have bi-weekly Zoom meetings. We specifically chose teachers from around the world to be able to cover many topics. Unfortunately, due to patient confidentiality, we can't actually show you the real talks. However, the very interesting interactive question and answer sessions is what we're going to be showing you. We want to give a shout out to our colleagues around the world fighting coronavirus. Please look after yourselves and be safe. So I'm not going to say anything more. Enjoy the show. Right, episode 2 is taking place in Istanbul in Turkey with Abdul Goksal speaking to us about preservation rhinoplasty. We can discuss, we can ask questions if we have time. So are you still there? Are you okay, guys? Goksal, it's sure. absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for what you've uh, shared with us. We can definitely have some questions for a couple of minutes before we close down. So anyone has questions, please uh, go ahead. Hello, doctor. Hello. Are you listening to me? Oh, yes, I can, I can hear, but I cannot see who is asking the question. Okay. Oh, okay, it's, it's me. It's Lissandro. Lissandro. How's it going, my friend? How are you? I'm good, fine. Good. You. <laughs> we are at home. Also, you're at home in Brazil. <laughs> uh, look, I have a question. In, in your experience, it's, it's very, very important to, to, to use a mononylon a bailarina maneuver or it doesn't matter or it's not important what is your opinion with your experience for the really small humps it doesn't matter i mean if you're dealing with just one or two millimeter hump it doesn't matter because uh, some movement on the side wall it's kind of the seat belt on the sides which is keeping the position of the hump which, which is keeping position of the dorsum if you make the uh, undermining on the side, it became straight by itself. So even you see the effect on the table. If you undermine the side wall with ballerina maneuver, it's collapsing by itself. So it doesn't jump out. If the surgeon is pushing, pushing again, pushing again, going back and pushing again, it means that something is wrong. If it, it means that it will jump out again. So you see that effect, spring effect on the table sometimes, but sometimes there is no spring effect. You feel so comfortable, so it stays. So you don't need to do ballerina in this case. But usually this kind of patients uh, has really small hump and it's easy to push down and you're solving the problem easily. Okay, something that I'm, I'm using here, uh, I'm not sure because I start uh, 10 minutes later, your class. I'm, uh, I use a uh, dissector when I, I do the, the fracture. I go uh, mm -hmm. in the nose um, and, and I do a, a small uh, dissection of the mucosa. So it's easier to have the down of the fractures. Mm -hmm. You use this normally, you, yeah, I you totally stack. You, you mean you're dissecting the mucosa inside of the maxillary bone, internal layer of the maxillary bone. Yes. You are pushing down. Perfect. Yeah, this is also another step which we have. I was, I was talking about it also. It's, the, it's the, another step. Valerina, the mucosal uh, undermining, and the uh, sagittal osteotomy, these are all the maneuvers for flattening the dorsum, actually, because there are some blocking spots which we have to keep that tension uh -huh. yes and, and the other step that i'm using when i'm here in the double w zone yes i cut like this and the w and when the the roof going down the the push down normally we have a small problem here so normally uh, uh, we need to cut a small part you, of here you mean yes you mean uh, while you're the, using the high subplus strip and the W point 
Uh, yes. So uh, I think that this this part. Oh, so here I have the the septum. Okay, here is the septum, the caudal septum. So I start to uh, cut. I think uh, connection the is double. not good. Okay. Are you? Uh, connection is not good enough, I think, because I couldn't understand the question. It's interrupting. Uh, <coughs> okay, there is a question here. Uh, there is a question for Dr. Baraldo, and the question is sometimes in push down whenever do you think it's necessary to take more than cartilage to uh, It depends on the shape of the dorsum. If there is an S shaped dorsum, yes, we have to grasp a little bit the bony, bony cap. And if the dorsum is V shape, I think we don't need to change anything. So thank you everybody. I don't want to take your time more and it was great experience for all of us and I think we are just starting in this quarantine so we will see each other more often in this period. Stay stay at home, stay safe. Roxel, thank you so much. A round of applause from all of us. It was excellent. Um, I would like to really thank you very much. And I want to remind everybody who's on the, the chat that we will be moving across to France next week. Um, Olivia will be speaking with us on Tuesday and Eves will be speaking with us on Thursday. And then the following week, we go across to America and uh, we have uh, Paul Nassif and Rod Rorick speaking to us. So uh, thank you so much for clocking in and please be safe with Corona and we'll see you all next week.